John Swindles here, Fight Up TV with Tony Le Bomber Bellew. How are you doing, Tony? I'm all right, mate. I don't know about the bomber, but I'm all right. I'm cracking, mate. Uh, you recently come off a great uh, attempt at the shot of the world title with um, Adonis Stevenson. Unfortunately, it didn't work out to plan. How did it feel that night? Uh, listen, he's a fantastic fighter. An amazing fighter, really. Pound for pound, one of the biggest punches in world boxing. Uh, it didn't go my way that night, but you know I've moved on since then. I went on, defeated Valerie Brudov, a former double world title challenger. Uh, I got rid of him in 12 rounds. And listen, I'm, uh, I'm doing good things. I'm training hard and I'm working all towards Saturday night against Julio Dos Santos. Uh, this step up in weight, do you think that that's benefited you a lot? Oh, listen, could you get 25 pounds off me right now and expect me to be healthy and fit? You know, you look at me the way I am now and there's not 25 pounds of weight to come off me. So that's the, the kind of levels I was going to. And, you know, it was an absolute nightmare. But it's something that you've got to learn to deal with and it's something that, you know, you've got to take on board when, when going into a boxing ring, your health, your safety, how you lose weight, when you lose it. And I've gone through all that. I've experienced that. I've experienced an awful lot of things in my short career. I've experienced two world title fights, numerous title fights. I've been at title level since my 11th fight. I've, every single fight I've had since my 11th fight has been a 12-round fight. So people forget that I'm very experienced for a guy who's had, I think it's 24 fights now. I don't even know how many fights I've had. 24 <laughs> fights. So uh, I've done it the hard way. I've, nothing's ever been given to me. I've earned everything I've, I've got. And uh, we'll see where it go from here Saturday night. You mentioned the uh, fight that you came off uh, with Valerie Brudov. A uh, nice bounce back, co bounce comeback fight. Uh, co sorry, nice comeback fight to bounce back from. Yeah. Um, how did you feel on that night? Obviously, that was your first fight, crew. It was right? good. Uh, I showed I've got good bounce back ability. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, you know, listen, I got the job done that night. Valerie Brudov, like I say, is a former two-time world title challenger at cruiserweight, a proven, tried and tested cruiserweight. And, uh, and I went in there and basically took them apart, round by round, take away the seventh round. I wish I could take away the seventh round, because they took my jaw out of place. <laughs> but uh, take away that seventh round, and it was an excellent display. But like I say, you know, we uh, we get away with it. We get away with it that night, and you know, we came through. I always perform when the pressure's on, when the st when the cards are stacked, I perform. When we get under the lights, I perform. It's just the way it goes, and, and I'll perform Saturday night. Julio Santos, it's not an easy fight. I think he's 20, 26 and 2 with 23 knockouts. So he's yeah. a heavy handed, mm -hmm. big cruiserweight. How do you see this fight going with him? Uh, it's just a knockout. Let's hope it's not me. Such wood. <laughs> uh, listen, there's a knockout coming in this fight. I, I hit hard, he hits hard. Uh, I don't run at this weight. I box and clever. I use movement, I use angles. And I have energy for 12 rounds at this weight. So something's got to give. On Saturday night, and you know, like I say, touch wood, it ain't me. Everyone's probably asked you this, but Nathan Cleverly, yeah. you, you genuinely don't like each other. Where does that stem from? Yeah, uh, I don't even entertain him, mate. I, th I just don't think he feels anything towards me. I just think he's a gobshite, so that's the total honest truth of it. And he dresses like an absolute twat. <laughs> And uh, if that fight comes about, I actually was speaking to Matty Askin yesterday. Uh, I think you've been sparring with him. Both him and his trainer, Mike Jennings, picked you if the rematch comes about. How do you see that fight going? Do you think it'd be a knockout by yourself? Or? Uh, are you talking about me and Cleverly yet? Uh, listen, to Tony got in the one way, a knockout and he retires. So you retire? I, I stop him and I retire him. He'll never come back to boxing again after I've dealt with him. So, you know, I ain't fighting a light every this time. I ain't losing £25 in the space of 10 weeks. I am not, you know, a, a raving lunatic who's killed himself at weight. There's so many different factors at me at Cruiserweight to light heavyweight. Uh, Matty Askin's a really good guy, someone who I think is going to do really well. You know, he should be in for that British title. Uh, I believe, like I say, he's a really good fighter, very skilled. He's got a really good trainer, Michael Jennings, and I wish him, you know, really, really well. He's done some great rounds with me. And, uh, like I say, he just needs to be active and give him the right fights at the right times, and I'm pretty sure... Matty Askin is right up there with the other British cruiserweights as well as your John Lewis Dickinson, your Steve Simmons, your Oval McKenzie's, you know, your Danny Price is everybody's forgot all Danny Price. Danny Price is a very good fighter, mate, he really is. So does the cruiserweight division in Britain's really good. I mean, I'm I'm experienced and I've got a lot more twelve round fights under my belt than these guys already have. So I don't wanna, you know, be calling out these guys or saying whatever about them, but these guys get high rankings, then you know we can we can all do it, we can all mix it, and we can all fight, and, and I'm sure we will at some stage. Well, it'll be a good future for the cruiserweights in the UK then. I'm open so many times, really. Am. That's fantastic. Thank you for your time there, Tony.